Greetings friends and welcome to the ability guide on freezing your opponent. So in this ability guide I'm going to show you how to turn your enemies into blocks of ice. So the first thing we're going to do is get some puppets. So we'll go into gameplay gear and choose two basic puppets. We'll put one over here and we'll put another over just here. For the sake of clarity I'm going to make our freezer a blue dude. So I'm just going to go to modes and coat mode and just make them blue. So now we know who our, our freezer is. This is going to be our freezy. Okay, cool. So the first thing we're going to do is actually go into our freezy, the person we're going to freeze, and we're going to make for them a nice little block of ice. So we can start by just making it sort of blue. We could then mess around with it. Go to colors again and go to um, this like mix of blues. Make sure you're in subtract mode and then just sort of, you know, shave down a little bit of the shape so that you've got a nice ice blocky QB shape. Just so that it has a little bit of detail, a little bit of um, difference on the various sides. You can keep this as a cube if you like. Unfortunately, there isn't really a way to make it a transparent ice block that you can see them through. Um, you might be able to do that with text displayers, but if you want to have like a nice tangible block of ice, this is the way to go. Yeah, so just mess around with that, whatever works for you. And now we've got a nice sort of icy, rather sharp at edges, rather uneven uh, ice cube. You might want to, just for the sake of um, the aesthetic, Go into your colors once again, and go into monochrome and go into white. Then tools, you're going to go to spray paint. Press L1 and square. Turn the soft blend up pretty high. You can change your shape to a circle if you like, or rather a sphere. And then you can just add a little bit of, oh, I said white, I wanted white, yeah. And you just add a little bit of, oh, sorry, soft blend, add that soft blend. So that you've just got a little bit of that snowy coldness it as well and you can just put that down rather haphazardly as you desire okay cool then we're going to take this and we're going to go to outer properties we're going to make it shiny so zero percent there and we're going to make it very metal so there we are you can also increase the glow a little bit and this way you get that sense of those nice colors all righty so now that we have our, our ice cube we can, we'll just put it over here for now. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're actually just going to grab this and we're going to scope into our puppet so that we're by their sort of stomach region. Then we're going to place our cubes down as we desire. So we'll make a few of these and they'll all still be in that one spot. We'll switch it around so that there's a little bit of variation. And this is what they're going to look like when they are frozen in a cube of ice. Not really a cube, but when they're frozen in a, in a block of ice. Alrighty. Okay, cool. Then, while we're still in here, we're just going to change it so that it is not visible and it is not collidable. Okay, sweet. Then, we're going to quickly go into show and hide. Turn off preview and visibility. Then we're going to go to animate and stamp down a nice keyframe. In this keyframe, we're going to go into all three of these little blockies. I'm going to make it visible and collidable once again. So in other words, when this keyframe is triggered, these ice cubes are going to be visible. Okay, cool. So now let's get to our little dude who's going to be casting this freezing spell. So I think we shall just create a nice little ice ice ball and this ice ball shall be sculpted just as before we'll get a nice let's just get like a nice light blue one doesn't have to be anything fancy Choo -choo -choo. if we like we can make it like before we can make it nice and shiny and nice and metal this can be our freezy ball and all we're going to do for this dude is because you can of course adjust this as you like and make your own cool ability or have it as an effect on an attack or anything like that, you know, like there's a chance to freeze your opponents on every attack, something like that. 
which will be quite cool, I'm sure. You just stamp down a nice emitter. This emitter is going to emit our nice little ball over here. The direction's a little, little bit off, so we're just going to go into Guides, Grid Snap, and adjust it so that it's going out to the side. We're also going to make our own little keyframe, and the keyframe is just going to be our puppet lifting up their hand. Oh, we can actually turn off that Grid Snap now. It's going to be the puppet lifting up their hand to shoot out the ice ball. So then, we can go into our emitter. We'll go into our emitter and readjust the trajectory and the position of this ice ball. Remember to move the one in your emitter. Go into your emitter when you're moving it around. Because otherwise, if you just move this one around, it's not going to do anything, of course. Okay, sweet. So now this is going to be triggered by a press of the R1 button, let's say. You can just connect both of these here. Okay, cool. And then we're gonna just add a little microchip to our little ice ball. And on this microchip, it's gonna be a nice and simple one. All we're gonna have is a tag, which you'll find in gadgets, since it's an input tag. And this tag is gonna say, Breeze. Then you can reposition the tag because as you can see it's a little bit above where the ball is right now. So we'll just put it in the center. Or you can put it on the edge, whichever you prefer. Then we'll make it so that when our when our ball detects impact, it's actually gonna disappear. And by by make it to make it disappear, we're going to move it in output and then we go destroy it. And we'll make it so that we're going to the impact sensor. When it's touching anything, it is going to get destroyed. Alrighty. Then we're going to go back to our little our little dude over here. A little poor, poor, about to be frozen dude. And we're going to go into gadgets once again. Sensors and input. And we're going to go trigger zone. This trigger zone, we're going to scope into it, is going to detect a tag, which will of course be, we'll press down the D-pad, freeze. So we're going to detect freeze, and when we detect freeze, something is going to happen. And that thing that is going to happen is it's going to activate a timeline. So you can connect this to the power of this timeline. Now we've got our keyframe here. We're going to plop it down there, and we're going to increase its size rather dramatically. And this is going to be our make make the ice appear keyframe. So I'll just call that ice appear. Alrighty, then you're also going to need to make another keyframe, which will of course be, we'll quickly actually go into show and hide and turn off preview invisibility so that we can just focus on our, um, so that we can just focus on our particular uh, puppet. So we're going to go in here. Ah, of course. Let's just, let's just take this keyframe out because this is of course making it visible. So if we have it like this, we'll quickly turn this off. Why am I turning this off? Just so that we don't see our ice cube, um, our ice cubes appearing and we can mess around with the puppet. But I'll put it back right now. Okay, cool. So we're just going to move this dude around. So he's like, Ooh, uh, you know, the arms are just sticking out of the ice. You can still see the outline of the ice, which is quite nice. The outline of the ice is quite nice. Ooh, stick out his head like, Ooh, I'm frozen. Help me. Alrighty. Then we're also going to want to do something else. We're going to go back into this keyframe so that we're still recording. We'll scope out a little. Go into the blank puppet's physical properties. Or rather, sorry, the behavior with the little gears. And now we're going to turn off all the procedural animations. So the walk and the jump and just the procedural animation. So that means like if in your game these, these dudes are following you around or whatever, it's not going to, they're not going to keep walking while they're frozen. Okay, sweet. Now we can put this keyframe back, which is ice appear. We can give it power. Sorry, yeah, give it power. And then we can make it so that this is here. And then if you want, you can have it so that um, your person, when they break out of the ice, they do a little like, they sort of like shake it off, you know what I mean? So they can be like, ooh, they can put their, their hand to their head or something like that. Ooh. 
and like shake their head because they've just been frozen. Or they can give a little shiver. Okay, cool. So now I'm just doing a little bit of random animation. For the sake of coolness. Ooh, they just sort of shake their head from side to side. As they get out of their frozen prison. Okay, cool. That's fine as it is. Because I just copied the original ones. Because we've got sort of like a looping animation. And then we're just going to put down a regular animation or a regular keyframe, default keyframe. We can shorten this now. And our animation is going to look like cha, frozen. And then they're going to be like, uh, uh, uh. alrighty. So nice and simple, nice and easy. So what's going to happen is the trigger zone is going to detect freeze and then make them do the freeze animation. How, where is that coming from? Well, of course, we're going to emit the frozen ball or the ice ball, and that's going to have a freeze tag. So, friends, let us see if it works. Switching. Switching. Ah, you see the problem here, and this is a good one because it's uh, one, I mistake, uh, one mistake I make quite often, is that our timeline is set to sustain. So that means it's only going to be playing so long as the ice cube is there. But, of course, our ice cube is going to be destroyed after a little while. So we're going to set it to once, playback mode one. So that means even if it's detected only for a split second, it's going to play the whole thing through. Alrighty. Okay, friends, now that we've got that out of the way, let's give ourselves a little bit of a playtest. Alrighty, we're going to shoot our ice ball. Ching! They're frozen, frozen in place. And then they come out of it and they shake their head. Okay, friends, that's all there is to it. Now you can freeze your enemies in all the kind of games you have if you've got a nice, you know, magic game, elemental game, um, action game where your attacks can apply frost or something. Friends, you have it now. You figured out how to freeze your enemies. They will be, you can sh sh jump on the ice if you like. <laughs> and that's all there is to it, friends. If you enjoyed this video, please leave some uh, likes and some comments because I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say or if there's anything else you guys want me to make. That would be really cool and really interesting. Thank you so much. Please subscribe if you want to see more. And thank you for sticking around, friends. Catch you on the flip-flop. Peace out.